Alright, what's going on guys? Today I've got an exercise that you guys should all try out if you're really trying to work on that inner portion of your chest. Now, first things first, anatomically speaking, you don't actually have an inner chest, an upper chest, or a lower chest. All you have is a pec major, which is on the front, and then you, in behind the pec major, you have the pec minor. Those are the two chest muscles, or dominant chest muscles, that you have. But obviously we have a lot of different exercises we use to target different areas. We have the incline for the upper chest, we have the flat for pretty much the whole chest, and then we have things like the decline or dips for the lower chest. Now, the inner chest can be a bit harder to target. Some people try to do like uh, dumbbell flies, cable flies to really hit that inner chest, but today I've got an exercise for you called the Sven Press. If you've never heard of it, it is definitely something you should try. So, the key thing to keep in mind when you are doing the Sven Press is that you want to be pushing your hands together as hard as you can and obviously at the same time squeezing your chest as much as you can. Now, there are a number of ways of different ways that you can do the spin press. First things first is that you can just do a single plate. So you just grab one plate, push it as push your hands together on the plate as hard as you can. Try and I don't know, imagine like you're trying to break that plate and squeeze together and then push it away from your chest. So you start on your chest with your arms basically at a 90 degree angle out and in one rep. Now if you want to do a bit of a variation on this or maybe you can't uh, do enough weight to get maybe you know a bigger plate and so you want to use two smaller plates for example then you can but the other beauty about using two plates is that you then have to squeeze even harder to make sure that the plates are staying together and that they're not going to drop so you grab two smaller plates press them together same motion pushing out bringing it back always squeezing your hands together as hard as you can trying to break those plates and squeezing your chest as hard as you can obviously you don't just have to use plates you can also use dumbbells and what you can do with the dumbbells is you can either just simply grab the handles and again you're, you're still basically your hands are in a fist now and so you're still trying to push your fists together as hard as you can as you do the whole movement but what you can also do is don't actually grab the dumbbells as you would normally literally do the same kind of hand positioning as you would for if you had a plate so that you're not actually gripping the dumbbell handles you're actually just basically using your palms to press against them so that the dumbbells are pressing together and then doing the motion like that. That's going to mean that you're really not just holding the dumbbells beside each other, you're literally pushing them into each other. So that's a good way to do the spin press as well. And the final way you can do it is you can do it uh, laying down on a bench. Again, you can either do it with a plate laying down or you can do it with dumbbells and you'll get that same effect. Because you're not using a whole bunch of weight for this exercise, I suggest that you use it as a more of a finisher, maybe 3 to 4 sets of 10 to 12 reps, I'd say go on the higher rep range, because again, you're not using a whole lot of weight, so you don't need to be doing low rep work. This is going to be great to really get your chest, give your chest that pump that you love at the end of your workout, just make sure that you're always squeezing it as much as you can and it's going to feel like your chest is huge. So if you haven't tried the spin press yet, make sure you give it a shot add it to your next chest workout. I hope this video was helpful for you all. Don't forget to give it a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you all next video.